Hello and welcome to my revamp tutorial of how to make uh, Chuck Person A2 or Angel. So what we got to do is start with uh, Fleetwood Max Only Over You. I believe that's the song title. It is. Uh, and we're going to go to uh, 48 seconds here. Uh, if you ever want to look at any uh, time settings, they're down here in the lower left. And uh, once we grab that sample, here's what it sounds like. Angel, please don't go. I miss you when you go. They say. So that is the sample that we're going to use. Uh, it is at 83 beats per minute. And what we're going to do, first of all, is take that sample and then slow it down to 69. Nice. Uh, let's see here. Once we got that, we're going to set up a loop with this sample and we're going to take it and we're going to pitch it down three half steps. And uh, let me turn off the effects because I will explain these later. But here's what it sounds like with that. Angel, please don't go. I miss you when you go. So hopefully that sounds familiar. Uh, next, we're gonna add some effects. Uh, so what I've got is an EQ. Uh, so a little bit of a messy EQ, but here we go. Uh, we've got a low cutoff or a high pass filter at 100 Hertz. Uh, that's to roll off some of the low end, especially in the snare. Once you pitch down the sample, um, all of the frequency content also goes down. Um, and you gotta roll off some of that bass so that it doesn't get too muddy. Uh, also in the high end, we've got a high cutoff or a low pass filter, uh, to take off some of the, uh, very high frequencies. So let's put this at 12 K. Um, and then we've got a high frequency shelf, uh, after that, um, it is starting at two kilohertz and it, uh, goes up by, let's say six DB. So what that's going to do is take everything above two kilohertz and raise it by six dB until it gets to this high frequency cutoff. Um, we've also got a mid range scoop. Um, it is at one K and it goes down by negative nine dB. And what that does is it creates a little bit of a smiley face EQ. Um, but we've also increased the Q or the bandwidth here. So that's a little bit more of a sur surgical cut. Um, if you were to play with this Q, you can see how it changes the bandwidth like that. So uh, I think right around 3.5 sounds good. Um, next is, uh, well, let's turn this on and off and let's do it by itself first. Here's off. So it gives it that cassette tape, cassette tape sound. Uh, we've also got a chorus, uh, and what a chorus does is it's kind of a phasey kind of effect, gives it a little bit of an underwater kind of effect. Um, I've got the depth pretty low on this. Uh, it's pretty subtle layer on top of the uh, sample. Here's what it sounds like off and on. So here's off. Angel, please don't go. I miss you when you go. So not much difference. Uh, let's add these two together and let's see what we get. Angel, please don't go. I miss you when So you're starting to hear the affected sound. Uh, next up is the delay. So uh, let me turn this on. Um, I've got an eighth note delay uh, with the feedback at 70 and the mix at 50%. Uh, another important thing about this delay is you got to roll off some of the low end so that you don't get real mud in the delay sound. And then also uh, raise the high cut a little bit so that you get the uh, the sibilance of the voice, like that kind of sounds. Um, 
because that will be important to the delay sound. So here's what it sounds like off and on. So here's what we got so far. All right, starting to sound more familiar. Uh, next up, we've got a reverb, and um, this one I just used an arena preset. So it's a it's like a large space, a uh, lot of reverb. It's pretty simple. <laughs> so uh, here's what it sounds like off and on. And then here's what we got so far. Now you may be saying, well, that's awful quiet. I can't really hear it very well. Uh, now we're going to add the compressor. So we're going to use this as like a limiter. Um, I don't really want to go into too many details about uh, compression and limiters, but what you got to do is turn the threshold down real low, turn the ratio up real high, and then this makeup gain, that's where we're going to add back some volume. So here's what it sounds like off and on. Yeah, now we're cooking, huh? Uh, so let's add all the effects here. And uh, here's off. And then on. So that is the majority of the song, uh, simple and beautiful. Uh, we're going to work backwards a little bit here. Um, and then we're going to go back to the middle of the beginning and then back to the actual beginning. Um, so we've got this uh, loop here. It's just this, that ooh sample. And you take it and you chop it up and you repeat it. And then on that eighth time, that's where it goes back to the sample. Alrighty, uh, last thing to cover is the beginning. So um, it's actually pretty complicated and I didn't get very far. Uh, it takes a lot of work. So basically the idea is you take the sample and uh, you start out with it uh, not pitched down and then not sped up. Uh, don't really worry about that point, zero, one. It doesn't matter. Um, and what you do is you take that and then you slow it down and pitch it down and then um, then you speed it up and pitch it up and then sp slow it down and pitch it down and it gets a sound like this. And then once you add back the effects, uh, here's what it sounds like. So something to that effect. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It sounds a lot better than the last one. And uh, 